Hello everyone, today's video is on how to disassemble and reassemble this slide on this tire L9, M9 and C9. At first we need to remove the slide from the handgun, remove the recoil spring and the barrel. This gun has about now 600 round and I need to clean it. Overall, I'm close to 1000 and that gun is smoothing out very, very, very nicely, getting more accurate by the day. It is very accurate. Let me show you some footage of this morning wrench training. Let's return to our slide disassembly and reassembly. So first we need to remove the extractor right here. And you are going to reach right here and push that spring down. And as I always say, it's not very difficult, it's just dexterity. And then you will go the there we go, the extractor out, and here's the spring, and you will need to clean right in there. The carbon managed to get its way here. And then to put it back, you need that little part. This way you have a small notch on top. So you put it sideways into the hole there. And once you make sure you have that little notch, you want to slide the extractor underneath 
for the spring to sit right there. Oh, let me show you. It's going to sit this way. So you're going to put the spring, the extractor, and you're going to push everything in place. It's not the easiest one, but manageable. So you grab the spring, you push it back while putting the extractor in place. This is probably the one of the hardest parts to put on this gun. But it does not make you... There you go. No, not in yet. See, there is a space here. The spring is contracted. If I move that ejector out, it should bring the spring into place. I can push it here too. There you go. Okay. And you verify if everything works. And everything works well. Okay, for the back. So let's, uh, let's remove the back. Like many handguns, you have to push something down. It is not the firing spring, but it is that little spring there. You push it down and you're gonna push the back plate out. So that little spring, you push it down and you can move the back plate. So here with more light, you might be able to sit. So I move that spring here down. And by pushing down, I move that back plate out. Then that spring can come out. Not much to clean here because there is no access really from the front and the firing pin mechanism. Um, dirt should not come inside here so you shouldn't have to touch the spring. What you want to do is clean the firing pin, clean the inside here and to put it back you put back the firing pin and the retainer pin here. Now, if you do like a Glock or any other handgun, when you have to hold that back plate and push on the spring, it is a nightmare. Really complicated because that pin is very small. It's not that easy. So I suggest just with that corner here, you put it onto the pin and that other end here almost in, in the rail, ready to be pushed. And so you're going to make that movement here, this way, to push the pin down, keeping that lower end into the rail and then push everything. So let's do that. I'm pushing the pin down and there we go. That's it. All right, I gotta do it again. So I push the pin down, move the back plate, and then to put it back again, slightly on the rail in an angle and the pointed part here on the spring and then you push down there we go done and double check everything everything works everything is in place and that's it for the slide and then of course barrel back in and recall spring Let's see if everything functions correctly. It's beautiful. So, that will be it for today. Until next time, see you guys.